Good morning guys, so it is Saturday the 3rd of February, we're finally in February, January didn't half drag on, um, so I thought that I would do kind of a weekly vlog, well not that I've got a ton of stuff planned, but I've seen quite a few people do like reading vlogs and stuff, so I thought well I could at least update you on the reading parts during the week and I would do that. I am wearing the funkiest Beauty and the Beast pyjamas. I got them from Asda. Um, I have to show you the leggings. So like the bottoms are like um, a bit like legging material so they like cling a bit more and they've got you know Cogsworth, Mrs Potts and Chip on them. Um, they're just super cute and Beauty and the Beast is one of if not my favourite Disney films so when I saw these pyjamas they were mine. It's it's a little bit late in the morning. Um, I haven't just got up. I got up about half eight, which is ridiculous. Um, but um, I knew there was a couple of deliveries due and I didn't want to miss them. So that's why I got up early and they've just arrived now. It's about 11 in the morning. Both deliveries have now arrived. So I'm about to get in the shower. Um, I'll show you what I was waiting for. <laughs> show you on my Beauty and the Beast bedding. Um, I've also got the matching throw to this. This bedding is beautiful. I love it. It was from Primark and I saw it on Instagram ages ago and I was just waiting for it to be available in like my nearest store and I nabbed it. So first thing that I was waiting for was this Disney traditional ornament. Um, I've had my eye on this one for a while but it was just waiting for it to come in stock. Maleficent is just glorious. Look at her. A fabulous ornament so I finally managed to get hold of that um, and then I was waiting on this perfume which is the new alien perfume um, the where's it flora futura it's funny because my mum asked me to order this for her as well and hers came yesterday um, and yeah mine came a day later but we both got different samples she got um armani because it's you which i already own a full size of and i got a sample of um chanel chance so yeah that's what i was waiting to arrive this morning now i can finally get in the shower so i'm literally sat in front of my computer about to re uh, read um record my january wrap up I want to get it recorded and up today because uh, my January favourites went up yesterday so I want to make sure that this gets put up today. So I thought I'd actually better share with you the book that I'm reading at the minute. It is on my Kindle so I can't really, I could show you a cover but it would be black and white and pointless. Um, I'm currently reading Moonlight Sins by... Jennifer L. Armantrout. It came out I think on the 30th of January. Um, it's her newest book anyway and I'm 58% of the way through. Kind of a slow start. Um, it took me a little while to get into it. Um, I think because I read Love Me Like This by Bella Andre before that and I read that very quickly like I read it in two days. I was hooked right from the very beginning like you could just read chapter after chapter and this I think was just that little bit slower start um, but now I'm super invested in it really really enjoying it um, I'm absolutely starving I'm going to go downstairs and make a sandwich I think hopefully there's bread I don't even know if there's bread but I'm starving I need to have something to eat and then I'm going to dust my room and then hopefully I can just chill and read for a bit um, I would really want to make some more progress with this book um, I'd love to finish it this weekend whether I will do or not we shall find out Hey guys, so it's a little later on in the afternoon, I've dusted my room, um, I've recorded and uploaded my video, um, I'm loving my makeup today, um, yes, and I am currently just reading, um, I'm 76% of the way through now, um, really enjoying this book, it's got a little weird, not really weird, but like bits that I was like, oh, I wish that wasn't in there. But yes, I shall explain that in either a review or a wrap up or something. Um, I'm also currently, <laughs> I've got my laptop in front of me, and um, I'm also watching some Deadly Women. I'm watching the Hidden Rage episode, which is season 8, episode 18, for anyone who's interested. Um, so yeah, that's just what I'm doing at the moment. 
Hi guys, so it is, oh, I forgot my glasses, ooh, Sunday the 4th of February and I forgot to vlog earlier on in the day um, but just to let you know, I finished reading Moonlight Sins by Jennifer L. Armentrout, I finished reading it last night, really liked it, um, would probably end up saying I give it about 4.5 out of 5, really really enjoyed it. And then after I read that, I started reading um, Mr. Blakely by Kay Webster. Started reading that last night and then I finished it today. It was a very short read. Um, I got it through NetGalley. Um, and apparently they're books that are designed to be read in like a couple of hours. Um, they're definitely like meant to be sort of erotic, sexy time books. Um, but I have to say I really enjoyed it. Um, so much so that I downloaded another one of her books. What was it called? it had a funny name I downloaded it earlier and I've started reading that tonight Malf Malfi Mal Mal Malfi weird name so yeah I'll probably just read a bit of that and then go to bed um, I'm 30% of the way through like I say it's like short they're short kind of books so um yeah i'm already 30 percent of the way through that um went to the cinema this evening um shay and i went out for dinner and then to the movies we watched winchester and like <laughs> i'm such a baby like it wasn't even that like kind of a scary film but my biggest fear in the cinema is watching a film like that and when they do the jump scares is like literally me going or jumping and no one else does it so I'm always like watching like behind my hands um but overall I thought it was it was pretty good and we were in the screen with the really nice leather recliner seats which was nice um but then when we left the cinema I, f I came over a bit funny and nearly threw up in a car park so that was a fun a fun filled evening right there so not looking forward to going to work tomorrow um I'm really sad because we have a new manager starting tomorrow. My old manager left on Wednesday and I'm really sad about it because I'm really good friends with my manager. I've been like we were both we both started like the same year. She started a couple of months before I did and I've not really been there without her. Um and I've been with this company for like 5 years this year. So yeah, I'm quite sad about it, but we shall see. Hey guys, so it's Monday. Um, I, ooh, I had sort of a half, not even really a half day, um, off work today because I had to go have a blood test and it was a horrible fasting blood test. Um, so I couldn't eat, but my blood test wasn't till like one o'clock in the afternoon. So that was a bummer. Um, and I didn't feel great anyway, so I'm just at home, sort of now, chilling in bed. Um, I finished reading Mal Malf Malfiance, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Um, I finished reading that this morning, and I didn't have very much left to read. It was, like I say, the K Webster books are proven to be very short and sweet. Um, so yeah, as it stands right now, I haven't started to read anything else. Um, so I'll let you know when I do. Hey guys, so it's Friday night and I've only just got home um, because me and my friend Kim, who's actually my ex-manager as of last week, um, went to see Fifty Shades Freed, obviously it came out today, um, and I've seen all the Fifty Shades films at the cinema with her. So we obviously had to go and see that. She picked me up from work, um, we had something to eat and then we saw it at 7 and oh my god guys i am really sad the trilogy's over i know it has um people that love it people that hate it i'm a fan i'm not gonna lie and i'm really sad that it's over loved the film i think it's it's my favorite one out of all of them and um yeah i'm thinking we might go and see it again because we had seats right at the front and obviously i'm glad i saw it and i wanted to see it the day it came out but um, I don't normally sit at the front of the cinema and yeah, I I want to see it again but slightly further back. Not like all the way back but slightly further back but yeah, um, I loved it. Um, and I'm sorry, I've been slack on updating you reading wise. This is supposed to be a reading vlog. 
and I've completely fallen short of telling you what I've been reading. And um, basically, since I last updated you, I've basically read more K Webster books. Um, I kind of went on a one click binge um, through the Kindle and I've read a few of her. So I, I think the last time I updated you, I was reading Mal Malfiance. Um, and then since then, I've read Schooled by the Senior, X Rated Attraction and cry baby and they're all kind of these taboo kind of erotic romance novels they're very short reads you could read them in about an hour and a half to two hours um and i don't know why i just kind of i really liked um mr blakely which started it and i then really liked malfiance but those are the ones that i've liked um the most the others i've I, they've been all right but not i haven't liked them quite as much and then last night I read volume six of Saga, um, which I'm I'm loving that graphic novel series, really, really loving it. Um, today I haven't started anything new, obviously, because I've been at work and I've only just got home. I don't know what to read next, if I'm honest with you. Um, I really don't know what to read. I'm going to think about that. Um, but... Yeah, I had two books arrive in the post today, so I'll flip you around in a minute and show you that. Um, so, yeah. So, these are the books that arrived in the post. Um, Love Profound and Tempting Love by Kelly, Kelly Elliott. They're book two and three in the Cowboys and Angels series. I've read this author before, but not recently. Um, not in the last couple of years. Um, so, I'm really interested. I read her when she was... Um, just self-published and now that she's been picked up by Piacus which is essentially Little Brown um, I've not read her since she's been you know traditionally published so that will be interesting so even though I know I've been really slack at updating you guys this week has been like up up and down really obviously Monday I have my blood tests and stuff and then Tuesday I met my new manager and it's just all change you know um work wise i'm not good with change um change is something that makes me very panicky and very anxious um i don't handle it even things like changing my phone um which sounds so stupid but you know I, i'm not a fan of change i'm just not um yeah so it's just been a weird week busy week um work has been interesting i actually had to argue with someone that two plus two equals four um that's not a joke either that's that's true so yeah i'm glad the week is over and i'm glad it ended on like a, a high on going to see that film um so yeah i'm gonna get in the shower i'm not gonna bother washing my hair because i'll go to bed with it wet which is not cool um so I'm just going to have a quick shower and then try and decide on something to read, I think. We shall see. Hey guys, so it's like quarter to two on Saturday. I've got the house to myself. It's really nice. Um, but I have absolutely no fucking idea what to read. Like, I've been looking and thinking for hours on what to read. And I just don't know what I want to read. I feel like reading like a romance. Um, after watching like Fifty Shades of Freed last night, I'm all about like happily ever afters and romance. But I can't, I can't think of what to read. It's really bugging me. Um, I keep eyeing up um, Mr. Rochester by Sarah Shoemaker. But I'm like, that's not like a romance romance, if you know what I mean. It's going to be Jane Eyre in Mr. Rochester's point of view, which is great. And I'm dying to read that. But I'm like, do I want to read that right now? And then, yeah, I can't think of what to read. I, I, just, I just can't think of what to read. Um, I hate that you guys are having... A better time choosing what to read than I am because I I've got no idea hi guys so it's Sunday and yesterday I finally um, decided what to read I managed to read I can't remember if I said I read volumes 7 and 8 of Saga and um, the graphic novel which I'm really sad about because now I have to wait for volume 9 I goodness knows when that will be out um, but I'm really really loving that graphic novel series and so I decided to pick up um, Fall With Me by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This has been on my shelf since it came out like two, three years ago. 
um, and I've not read it yet so I decided to pick that up. I'm about 120 pages in so far, enjoying it. Um, it was a little slow to start but I am enjoying it, um, so yeah, that's what I'm reading at the moment. Yeah. <laughs>